Hi! The ones who watched my earlier videos on fitness tracker hacking know that I like the NRF52 chipset. It's a system on chip with an ARM Cortex M4. I'm here to show you some new players on the field. For once, if it's um, Yumi DG U Watch 2 and also the P8 smartwatch more like no name one. Both have an NRF52 chip inside and both have an SD7789 display inside and the best feature of them is the internal full touch that is yeah here. Now I need to go back for example there 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 so we have on these two watches, I will get it out of the package. This is a more round version, but also with full touchscreen. Maybe that's better. So like this and yeah, so both have the NRF52 chip inside and both have a full touchscreen and one additional push button. So here's the push button on this side and here is a small touch button on the um, on the side of the display. This is used to wake up the device or also it can be wake up we are moving. And both use the Dafit app to connect to it with the stock firmware. But luckily the company behind Dafit has made an own bootloader or update procedure to get a new firmware on them. And that uh, bootloader is quite easy to yeah, intercept with your own firmware, so you can flash anything on them as you want. And I will simply show it on this watch to yeah get an idea of what it is like to update it. After that it can be used like the D6 fitness tracker and can be flashed via Arduino or anything else. And what is also quite nice is that the pinout of these watches are the same between each other, but also it's the same as the Pine Time has, as this one also uses the app Darfit. And the Darfit producer has many different watches, about 100 different NRF52 watches with the exact same pinout for the display and the I2C devices as the heart rate sensor on the back and the acceleration sensor and also on this yeah in this watch the touchscreen is the same as in the pine time and yeah for example here's another one but this one doesn't get any um, full touchscreen it's just having one uh, button on the <laughs> Under the display and also one touch uh, one hardware button on the side but yeah pricely price wise they are all quite interesting this one was at around 16 euro chipped from Amazon Prime so pretty quick delivery this one was 20 euro from eBay and also from Germany so it's also very fast and the P8 watch was also from eBay, this specific one, for around 24-25 euros. But you can find this um, watch on AliExpress for around 16 euros delivered. So that is a very interesting one. And what's also quite nice is on this one it does not got the standard 1.3 inch display like this one has. It has a 1.4 inch display, so it's 
a little bit bigger than the other ones, but it's very much not noticeable, <laughs> so you can really see the difference. And I also got the feeling as if the colors were a lot brighter than on the this one, for example. Also, if you compare them against each other, but that can also be because of the uh, brightness right now. So if I set them both to full brightness, it's the difference is not that much anymore, but on my eyes this one is still a bit brighter. So I could, yeah, really just... Um, I, I would buy this one <laughs> again. And also it's quite yeah, not annoying, but the touch button on the Yumi DG one is a little bit um, hard to find and sometimes it's not recognizing the touch correctly. So that's not so so nice in feelings. Here with the hardwired button, it's just you know when you press it. It's you feel it in your fingers, it's way simpler to use. So yeah, I will now show how I reflash one of this one to another firmware or to the other bootloader. And I am working on an update for my D6 flasher, which is my Android app to flash the D6 fitness trackers. And it will then also support the stock bootloader so you can reflash all the DAFIT fitness trackers. And yeah, if you want to know if a DAFIT fitness tracker you found somewhere does support this type of bootloader, then please contact me or write in the comments. I will answer it. Okay, I want to show a reflashing of a fully stock watch. This one here, it's a U-Watch 2 and it has the full touch screen in the display and one touch button here on the bottom where it can be turned on and off. And as you can see here, it is really full touch screen. And if I now connect to it via the DAFIT app, I can reflash it, but this needs some additional hacking to get the wrong firmware into the DAFIT app. So I am working on a solution which is simpler. So if I now connect to the watch, it should then yeah, be connected in a moment. Um, I need to turn Bluetooth on and off and then it should work. So yeah, it's now connected and if I now select the upgrade, the watch itself will reboot one time to get into DFU mode. The DFU mode is only a mode in the stock firmware, so it's not in a bootloader right now. It will just get flashed yeah, into the normal firmware and onto the external flash and after the flashing is done, which you can see here it will reboot again into the yeah stock bootloader and the stock bootloader will flash the firmware i'm uploading here right now and this firmware contains a small application that will simply flash another bootloader to the watch and after that flashing it will then reboot into the new bootloader which is a yeah, Nordic stock one, which is a little bit changed to make it compatible to the display. Yeah, and in a moment it should be done, as you can see here. It's now in the bootloader. I will um, delete the device, so it will um, not trying to connect to it again. And here you can see the red yeah, it's the erasing and the blue is the writing of the new bootloader. And after that, it should again reboot. And these two, uh, these three uh, colors show that it's now in the real bootloader mode. And you can also see it here. 
that is the same uh, MAC address as we saw earlier and if I now connect to it it is the same thing but just with a Nordic bootloader on it and I could now update it via any other firmware I want and can also update the soft device or bootloader. Okay, that's it unfortunately, uh, all I got to say for this video. If you want to know more about them, please write it in the comments. Wish you a great day. And yeah, I know I need to remove this.